the Expo 2025 Osaka Kansai. Japan is already implementing a plan that the world is watching with anticipation. Now, as the world faces issues of global importance, the Expo will evolve into an experimental venue for a future society of co-creation that transcends borders and cultures. Ideas for achieving the SDGs will be generated through co-creation. This is the People's Living Lab. When Osaka Kansai was selected to host the Expo, ministers convened to appoint Mr. Hiroshige Seko as Minister in Charge of the Expo 2025 Osaka Kansai. Japan Association for the 2025 World Exposition was later established in January 2019, with Chairman of the Japan Business Federation, Mr. Hiroaki Nakanishi, appointed as Chairman of the Association. BID Committee Chairman Dr. Sadayuki Sakakibara was appointed Ambassador for Expo 2025 Osaka Kansai Japan, while Mr. Hiroyuki Ishige, formerly with Japan External Trade Organization, was selected to carry out the duties of the Secretary General for the Association. While serving as the driving force behind the success of this big project, the Association has gathered experts in various fields from both the public and private sectors and is coordinating with the government, municipalities, companies and citizens as well as the 170 BIE member states. A concrete plan for the venue, based on the People's Living Lab concept to generate co-creation among attendees, is starting up on Yumeshima, the island that will be the site of the Expo. We also plan to make additions to our infrastructure, including the transportation network and accommodations, so that the 28 million attendees can enjoy a pleasant Expo. Kansai Airport incurred damage from a typhoon last year, but in a mere three days, partial operation was restored, and today, the airport is back to full functionality. All kinds of co-creation are already getting started in Osaka, Kansai. For example, Osaka University has started up a project to further strengthen collaboration between industry and academia, and now many students are developing a sense of ownership in the Expo six years from now. Workshops involving citizens and companies are also getting going in the Expo's run-up. The numerous ideas from the workshops on running the Expo have provided the government and the association with feedback as the public and private sectors work as a team to make the Expo a success. Co-creation with the world is also starting up. A working group consisting of specialists from diverse fields including SDGs has been formed and has invited speakers from the UN. They have begun exchanging ideas with experts on how to achieve the SDGs, which are also a goal of the Expo 2025 Osaka Kansai. Most importantly, we are beginning preparations to welcome people from all over the world to Osaka Kansai. I'm really looking forward to my country's pavilion. So now, let's get off to a fresh start as we approach the Expo 2025 Osaka Kansai. Osaka! <laughs>